Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jack Zaffer 901 and what I've got for you today is a Christmas special guys. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of that fun stuff. Now this is going to be the Christmas special round Daytona Oval Course in, as you can see here, the Corvette C8. This is the new one, part of the new update as well. And you see I've got the McLaren livery on here, an absolutely beautiful car this one is. So let's get going, we've got a couple races here today. First one was done here in P10 and yeah, definitely is a tough one to get right. Um, you really got to just be really on it the entire time and it's a lot of fun. In fact, we did this one for our live stream as well later on in the week, which was before this video, obviously. Um, we did that one as well and just mega fun around here. If you haven't seen it, check out live stream. I'll leave a link at the top of the screen. Uh, check it out because we did have a lot of fun in there for our final stream of the year. But here we go. So this is pretty much the racing action here. It's um, We're just trying to make sure we get in the slipstream of P9 up ahead and we're just a little bit far away right now. We are in a slipstream, but if they're all working together, it's going to be a little bit harder to bridge this gap. Now, it is tough, but we just got to stay on it for now, and there's a long while left of this one. And, of course, we're going to see all sorts of pandemonium break loose as we see some smoke. Oh, two people have gone wide there, I think. Uh, we're going to get one position made up there from the German. And was there anyone else? I, I, th I don't think so. Okay, I thought I saw two people there. It might have been two. Um, a bit of smoke there in the distance, but we do come out on the other side now this is daily race a there's only a couple of laps here seven laps tire wear and fuel is on but it doesn't really have any effect so it's pretty much just a sprint to the end and as you see here we're gonna just get a little bit of a bump here from the guy behind but actually no we're gonna lose him oh guys F in the chat we just lost that guy it was just a night a night for us just completely helped us out right there they gave us a, a beautiful boost in speed which is kind of I mean I don't think it's going to do too much because we're still a bit far away from the gap uh, to the guys ahead but we lost our team mate oh okay I think that one was Watto there so oh uh, Watto I lost you buddy oh <laughs> okay well that is really upsetting there because uh, unfortunately it was it was in vain I got nothing from it that's just too far away but I do appreciate the support there Watto so anyway, race number two right here. Now, this one, we're starting this one in P6, and I have realised I have my horn button programming, programmed in here on my T300 RS GT, my Thrustmaster wheelbase, which I've recently got, which, by the way, a review is coming. So obviously, we're going to use that horn for a little bit here. I do get a little bit distracted by the horn. Um, but obviously, we're just trying to make it... We're just going to try and make it to the end here. going to try and get a win if we can. And we're quite far away from um, P1 at the moment. We've still got about five people ahead of us. Um, to to the lead, so we do need to obviously try and get a position here where we can. As you see, I'm getting a bit distracted by the horns. I'm not focusing on where I'm going. So uh, yeah, don't don't get distracted. If you're me, try try and uh, focus. If you're like me, obviously uh, try and get some focus in. So we're going to get one position right here. We're going to get this blue uh, Corvette as well. So lovely, and we give a bump draft there to um, I think that could be Mugger. I'm not sure how you said that one there, but um, the driver up ahead there, the German. So that's good. And obviously there's Looks like these guys behind are getting a little bit busy as well, which is good. So hopefully it gives us a little bit more of a chance to bridge this gap. I, as you see, again, I'm just getting too busy on the horn here. I'm not turning in quite when I need to, so I lose a little bit of time. We do hopefully have the teamwork here from the Frenchman. It looks like we do. And this driver up ahead, the Swedish driver, does go a little bit wide. And we do... Oh, we just get a little bit sideways there. A bit awkward. Oh, no, we just murdered someone as well. That one was Watto, I think. Was it Watto? I don't know. I just murdered someone there. I do apologise. For whoever that was, I didn't quite catch your name there. I'm sorry for the contact there, no. Um, right, okay, that was not ideal there. We just got caught a bit awkwardly there. Um, but, yeah, hopefully no hard feelings. This is a very tough one to get right. And if you have raced this one with me, yeah, apologies. Um, <laughs> but I hope you've uh, enjoyed it, because I have as well. Someone's just off there. Um, so we're going to get up a position into P10. Now, we're going to actually get the move on the Swiss driver here. Oh, sorry, not Swiss. So the Swedish driver here, and boom, we're up into P9 now once again. And I think P8 was where we finished last race. So we want to try and do better than we did then. We do luckily have someone to bump draft here and hopefully work together to try and bridge down the gap to the guys ahead. Now we're going to fast forward the action here because not much really happens between now and then. And actually, we're skipping from slightly later here even. And we do just get a move out of nowhere. I didn't see that driver, so wherever they were, I think they might have just been teleported or something. I don't really know. But yeah, we're approaching the end now. Getting right towards the end. And there's another driver off here as well. This one is Watto, who helped us out earlier. And, um... 
Yeah, we're just going to bow. Oh, no. Okay, no, that time I didn't matter, Watto. I'm sorry, Watto. I'm so sorry. You did help me out in race one, and I've just completely decimated you there. I'm so... Oh, I'm so sorry, mate. I mean, this combination is just, just deadly. That is... On the bright side, there's no DR or SR affected in this race, so this is purely a fun daily race, a no... Um, no, nothing's at stake, basically. It's just a bit of fun. Um, but still, I'm very sorry about that, Watto. I appreciate your help in the first race. I'm very sorry about the second race. I, I do owe you a bug draft. Um, that's definitely for sure. So anyway, we're going to go up into P6 right now. Is this going to be our P, Steve, our class position for the race? I think it's going to be. We're going to skip forward to the end here. And yes, it's going to be a P6. So we got our P, Steve, for today. And um, there you go. A wiggle in either excitement or frustration. I do wish I got it right earlier, but it is the way it is. But anyway, we're going to go on to race number three here, where hopefully we have a bit more luck. This time we're starting this one in P6. So exactly where we finished, we're starting there now. Which is actually, I think, where we started last race anyway. So this race was, I think, the day after, or later on in the evening. I can't remember now. And uh, we obviously got three Swedish drivers there at, in the uh, podium position. So obviously we need to try and break up the, uh, the Swedish group. But, um, so, yeah, let's, let's see... What we can do here, now I've got a bit of experience from the races before and this has all been quite, you know, quite close racing. So let's see if we can use our knowledge we've got previously to, to try and get a win here. I'm sure we can do it. We just need to keep with it, try our best. And we'll just see what we can do here. But we're going to immediately just try and get the optimal shifting up, which is basically you want to hold on to the revs a little bit and then shift up. Um, but you don't really need to go any higher than 6th gear around here. As you see, I'm going to shift up around now. There we go. So, yeah, uh, basically, we just hold 6th gear for the entire race now. So, it's, it's, there's not really any strategy, obviously, for daily race day. And it's, it's basically... I mean, there is strategy. That's, you know, and it's basically teamwork. So, we're going to work with this Spaniard here to try and hopefully bridge down this gap to the guys up ahead. And maybe try and expand this gap behind. Although, oh, we just lost our, sweet, uh, our Spanish friend. And we actually just cut one, two. We're going to get a third car here as well. Beautiful. Okay, immediately up into um, podium positions. And we have a German and a Swedish driver here as well in the mix. So, okay, that's cool. You know, we're hopefully going to be on the um, front foot for this one. If we stay with these guys at the top, then we should maybe be in for a chance. But there's a long way left to this one. Although it's seven laps and it's only 50... That's uh, sorry, about 45 seconds a lap. Um, it's still, you know... It still feels like an eternity when you're on track here. Um, but I really enjoyed this oval racing, actually. This is just fantastic. Uh, I know I've done this prior to Christmas, but I wanted to release this at Christ for Christmas Day for you guys because, uh, you know, it, it, it's just a good bit of fun, you know. A solid, amazing amount of racing here. So, anyway, we are working with the German here and the Swedish driver, although we do take a bit of a wide line. And um, we're going to have to concede this position here for the time being with the Spaniard. But that's fine, we're still up in up in P4 right now, and we can just hopefully use these guys up ahead to our advantage. We just need to work away from the guys behind. We don't really want to be fighting for fourth place, or we wanna, don't really want to be fighting for first place with eight people, or ten people. We want to try and keep it as close as possible here, because we've got a couple of um, strays in the distance. But the German is going to go a little bit wide here, so we're actually going to form, or our train is actually going to uh, slightly overpower the German driver there. Once again, we're just going to get that bump drafting going, trying to make our steering radius as small as possible here. Now, I have been told that having the um, stabilisation on, strong or, or real or medium, whatever the options are, I've heard that's actually quite suitable around here because the car sways mid-corner. Um, however, yeah, I didn't have it on for these races, but I believe for the first... Uh, sorry, for the live stream I did, I think I did turn it on from viewer's suggestion. So, yeah, if you have got time to do this race, feel free. Um, so give that a go, see if that is up your alley. But here we go. So can we just just break away with these with these two drivers up ahead? We do just have the German in the mix, just behind us here, the, the green uh, the green Corvette, and we're over halfway through this race now as well. So we need to just really stay focused. It looks like there's only five of us in this group here, so don't really have to worry about anyone else too much further behind unless we have an accident. But yeah, it looks like we're all happy to work together here and just break away. I kind of wish this race was a couple laps longer, just because it was just so fun. Um, but here we go. So it looks like the Spaniard is looking keen to get the move done here. So we're going to stay on the inside line. We're going to try and set ourselves up 
for a good move. It's getting a bit awkward here. Oh, a little bit of sideways action. We're going to go sideways. Um, oh, we just murdered the driver there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry once again. And, oh, that is really unfortunate there. And we get reset and we go into the barrier. Oh, okay, maybe we don't go into the barrier here. But, yeah, I just obviously I've got no control. Um, oh, no, we do go into the barrier. There we go. Um, and we get a penalty, obviously. So, um, yeah. That race flushed right down the toilet. That one was looking so close as well. We were right alongside of the Spaniard and the Swedish driver, which are in P1 and 2 right now. So we totally could have um, been fighting for a win there. But, ah, oh, well. It's going to have to be a 10th place for us. So, let's quickly skip here. There we go. So, right at the end. And, yeah, no one else left. So, that's a P10 finish for me there. So, what can we do in the next race here? I mean, we totally could have been fighting for the P1 position there. But what can we do for this next race? Well, let's get started here. It's the final race of the day. Sinus 1 once again in P6. Now, what can we do here? We just need to make sure we get this time to perfection if we really want any chance of getting a win. And we've got a couple of people here to hopefully help us help us on our journey. Or alternatively, you know, we smash into if we get it wrong. Or they smash into us if they get it wrong, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, lots of carnage around here in um, uh, for Daily Race A, but also I think that's part of the uh, joy of it as well. So we've got 954 up ahead. So I guess 953, 2 and 1 were already taken. Um, but we're going to work with 954 here if we can. Obviously, we do have quite a few people ahead of us. But again, if uh, from last race, we got three positions on that one. So if we can do that again as well, well then we'll be right up into podium positions which would be great. We do need to make sure we're just on it the entire time here. So we're going to immediately bump draft 954. We do have a French driver just behind us here. I'm going to try and break away from the guys behind if we can. Now, immediately, the guy who won last race has gone wide. And actually, same with 954. So we're going to get one, two positions right there immediately. And, okay, right. So up into P4 right now. These two drivers up ahead, P2 and 3, are going to not really help each other out there, the fellow Germans are not going to really help each other out but we are going to be up into podium once again so again, following the same pattern of last race and now we just need to stick with it, so we've got Flying Dutchman there, P, uh, in P1 well that's P9 uh, in P1, and then we got um, this German driver here which we're going to actually it looks like the truck cut quite keen to get a move done there for a, for a minute Yeah, we need to make sure we keep a tight line here, because if you run wide, people normally go for the move around here. And looks like these two might have had a little bit of contact, and it slowed them both down, because they just caught up very quickly there to them, so I don't really know. The Flying Dutchman is taking a little bit of a wider line right here. So I'm wondering if the German wants to get the move done pretty soon. I'm just, you know, just, just seeing. Yep, he's looking for the move. He or she is looking for the move. But no, no opportunity has presented itself just yet. Someone has left the lobby as well. So perhaps maybe spinning out or something, I'm not sure. But here we go, so we're going to bump draft once again. You can really take the mick with the track limits around here, but careful how far you go, because you will suddenly pop in. Um, and you'll obviously lose all your momentum like I did in the last race. But again, we're just looking for the safest position here. We do just about keep it on the inside. Um, looks like there's two drivers on our outside, a little bit of contact, but we do just about keep it okay. Someone has just gone wide there, off into the road course, it looks like. Or oh, the pits, actually, at that moment in time. But again, this German driver is looking very keen to try and get the position done. I did try this race with another point of view as well, but I got too worried about the mirrors, so we've gone back into this. Um, but here we go, can we... Just stay with these guys. We are losing time. Oh, suddenly we just got a Portuguese driver just teleporting from nowhere. It looks like we look like we have a um, an alien in the in the in the lobby possibly, <laughs> or a ghost. Not really sure. But yeah, we get, we're clearly getting a good run here out of this last corner, if you want to call it a corner, obviously. So um, I suppose it is a corner. Just we don't have to do anything on our own for the corner. But yes, we are. We're getting a good exit from there, so we are helping the German and the Italian out. And we are starting to lose a couple of people from the pack, but it's still looking pretty close. I think there's still about eight of us, seven of us in this main group. Or six of us. And there we go, he goes wide. We do have a bit of contact there. We do just about keep it 
without losing the car, so that's cool. And then a Portuguese driver helps us out there as well, so that's very, very um, appreciated. And it looks like a little bit of lag again with the guys behind, but they do keep it on track. And we do get a bit of an overspeed here, but the Portuguese driver helps me out, so we're just going to go for it here. And unfortunately for them again, they do get knocked out. Uh, there's a habit of uh, bump drafting me and getting knocked off this race, isn't there? So, uh, uh, we lost our Portuguese friend. Oh, that is, that is uh, tragic right there. Really tragic. Okay, but I do appreciate that support though, buddy. If you are watching, thank you, mate. But here we go. So we are up into P2 now. So we have traded positions. 954 in P4, just behind as well. Uh, we are going to go a little bit wide and they're going to form their own train here on the right. And that's not ideal for me. We've not really seen that happen too often. So the Flying Dutchman is really keen on not helping out me there, I guess. But just immediately like that, German just smashes right into them. And Flying Dutchman suddenly has just lost one, two, three positions. That might actually be four by the end. And now this is it. we got P1 with a penalty. We've got 954 as well in P2. We've got, um, we've got another British driver there behind us. Hopefully going to work with us. Yes, we do get a bump draft. We're going to try and get the move here. As long as we stay behind the German driver, we could be in a great position. We're going to just get a lovely bit of uh, bump drafting here. So shout out to the Brit behind. I can't quite make up the name on my lap, on my computer right here. Um, but here we go. Looks like the German is going to serve this penalty. We should be in a great position right here. And boom, there we go. And we're now into P1 for the first time in this race. And there we go. And just like that, the German driver falls down on the grid. And now we just have to hold our line. And look at this. This is beautiful right here. Shout out to... Is it Oakley? I want to say Oakley. I'm, I'm probably really bad pronunciations. But look at this. We are right in prime position right here. The two uh, drivers, a Dutchman and Brit, are going fi um, to fight it out. But there we go. We got our P1. Boom. We finally did it. That was just such an intense race. Really enjoyable. I really enjoyed every minute of that. And just absolute solid fun for the entirety. Guys, if you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. I do hope you enjoy this content. And let me know what you want to see down below in terms of the online racing on GT7 or even offline racing as well. But I really enjoyed that. I really hope you guys did as well. And obviously, we've got to see this winning animation play out. Absolutely beautiful stuff right there. There's our victory. Love to see that. And um, yeah, that is going to be our Daily Race A Christmas special right there, which I do hope you all enjoyed. And have a lovely... Christmas and New Year's guys click on the video on the center of the screen now highly recommended gotta love the content on the channel and let me know if you're watching that feel free to leave a like as well on that one but thanks so much for watching I'll see you guys in 2023 all the best and have a good one take care guys